Yep, just doing a little uh, diaphragm replacement on the 2446J JBL horns. Really easy. Three screws hold on the back plate. And uh, once that's removed, you have access to your diaphragm. Remove these screws, disconnect your terminals, your leads, and the whole thing pretty much just lifts off like that to expose the, the diaphragm. Once you have the new one, make sure you're ordering the, the correct part. Once you have the new one, really easy switch, line it up. Make sure it sits down properly. The coil sits down in the groove properly. And um, that's pretty much it. Real interesting note. I don't know if you can see that well. It says December 15, 1995. I, were use, I was using these horns up until maybe a month ago. And they just pretty much stopped working. They were sitting for a while. And I said, okay, this is time for a diaphragm replacement. <laughs> Look at that. Quality stuff. 1995. Here's how the new diaphragm comes. Packaging like this. Um, as you can see, same thing as, as the old one. If you want to compare it. It's pretty easy. Just swap them out. Replace the screws. Make sure you have the terminals lined up correctly it comes with a little red mark marking the, the positive and no mark on the negative one thing if you do know anything about JBL products and their older products you'll know that the positive and negative terminals were actually reversed in when they first started manufacturing some of these horn drivers as well as some of the other lines woofers like the 2242 H's stuff like that um, it's really your preference which way you want to connect them it, it's all about the initial movement of the speaker a positive charge going into the positive terminal creates an outward movement and vice versa for the other way on these ones I'm gonna actually connect them in reverse to what the marking is just to see how it how it goes and then if it's any different I'll change it back so again say hello to the camera hello <laughs> that's my son Michael he just wants to watch okay. so so yeah so this is the new diaphragm like I said if sometimes there's some dirt and debris in the corner here make sure to clean that out I just use a little knife a sharp edge knife and I clear that out really? once once that's all cleaned out just make sure that your diaphragm sits down properly the, with the coil into the groove don't turn it too much because you don't want to damage it. Try to set it down in the right spot, matching how the old diaphragm was. Line up the screw holes. Uh, as you can see, they should be off. They're off a bit. Let's go this way. And that's it. Proceed to screw them down. Reconnect your terminals. Like I said, if, if you're going to reverse the polarity, reverse the polarity or leave it as it was and once all connected back up you should have a, a good working horn these are the older series JBL the JBL 2446J's actually the 16 ohm versions some very expensive horns if you were to try to buy one today yeah. but they work extremely well and um, once we're done we have these back in the boxes I'll give you all a demo on just how they play say bye Michael Bye. Another note when returning the screws into, into the diaphragm, I like to do a cross pattern just to make sure that the coil sits flush into the gap. So similar to replacing a car tire. Da, 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 <laughs> just make sure that you go across and not in a circle or not counter or clockwise. And now everything back together, back plate back on. And what we can do to test it because I'm um, pretty old school is I just take 
just some leads and connect them up take an uh, a old battery it, will, it has to have some kind of life in it and then it size battery as a matter some people like to use 9 volts yeah. I think that may be a little too much power but any battery with some life in it and know. if you touch the leads you should get a response from the diaphragm don't know if you can hear that I'll try to put the phone a little closer Michael want to help daddy again yeah okay come hold daddy's phone right there in front of the horn okay. hold it right there yeah. hold it with two hands okay. oh no I can't see and you know you have a good functioning yeah. new day from um, and thanks for watching this video yeah. special thanks to my son videos then we'll see you next time guys that's right guys bye, bye.